Today is all about the top three tips for becoming a better insurance salesperson. Insurance and succeeding in sales, right, is not the easiest thing you can do. But there's three things that will help, three things we're gonna to touch on today, and three big reasons why you need to stick around and watch this entire episode. So today, the first tip is all about energy and interest. Your energy affects the outcome in sales. If you lack energy, if you're boring, if you're slouched, if you're monotone, if you have no excitement and no life about you, people do not want to listen to you, right? So energy, would you agree with that? Energy is where it is all about. Energy and interest. Energy in that, hey, are you energized? I'm going to give you a little secret, okay? I'm going to give you a little secret. I've never talked about this. There's one thing I would always do before I would go into an appointment. This wasn't planned. Dylan has no clue what I'm going to say, right? Live on video. I've never said this. I would have this Cody's $100,000 CD, right, that I made, this playlist that I made. And I actually used a CD back then because it was like a decade ago, right? Nobody uses CDs anymore. But I did, okay? On that CD, it was a hype list. It was a motivation list. It was music to get me going and hyped up and jacked up and bring my energy from maybe a five or six or seven to an eight, nine, or a 10. I would play that on the way to an appointment every single time, right? If I left an appointment with a cell, I had a certain song I'd play. If I left the appointment without a cell, I had another song that I would play because I didn't make the cell. So your energy, like for instance, when I go speak or I go to conferences or I have breakout sessions or I do all these free live training events all over the country like the one we have here in a little bit tonight, right, in, 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 uh, in Little Rock, every single time I go to the stairs or the stairwell or the bathroom or to my room or the fitness center or down the hall and I start doing jumping jacks, right? I start doing jumping jacks. I start jumping up and down. I start getting excited. I start getting jacked up. I start getting my heart racing because my energy ends up depicting the outcome of that event of that speech, of that training. Just like your energy, when you get a chance to sit down with a prospect, ends up determining if you get the sale. So that's the first piece is energy. The B, that's A. The B piece, 1B, interest, is are you interesting? How interesting are you when you get a chance to gain interest along the way through engagement and trial closes and stay interesting and keep their attention. How do you do it? Energy and interest will help you be a better salesperson. Number one, it will give you confidence. Number two, it will give the prospect confidence in you because you have energy and it looks like you should be passionate about what you do. But either way, and I'm not saying to fake it because you should never fake anything, but it looks like you have a lot of passion for what you do. And hopefully it's true. Hopefully it's real. Right? But when you put out energy and interest, you look passionate. Okay? So that's number one. Top three sales tips. For those just joining us, top three sales tips, right? For being a better insurance salesperson. Tip number one in energy and interest. Tip number two, okay? Address the five buying decisions. There's five buying decisions when you sit down with a prospect, right? How trustworthy are you? That's why I talk about how this is a relationship game. They are evaluating how trustworthy you are as a salesperson, okay? That's number one. Number two is, are you and the company and the carrier and the agency you represent, are they reputable? That's big. People do the research nowadays, okay? Also, what problems does this insurance sell solve for them as a prospect? They need to understand the benefits, the value. We talked about relationship, value, and you make the sell, right? So those are several things. Also, is the price worth it? If they see more value, if the value is higher than the price, people make a decision. If the value is lower than the price, right? There's less value and the price is higher than it feels right. There's less value, they don't buy. Lastly, is this the best time for them to take action 
the timing is important when someone is, so that's why as a salesperson, it's good for you to stress that the time is now, like the no callback close. So that's the second tip, address the five buying decisions, right? Because yes, you can have energy and interest, right? Yes, you can address the five buying decisions, right? All five of those, because if you don't address their problems, their concerns, their complaints, right? Their fears, they will feel less confident making a decision right now, okay? So that's tip, tip number two. Tip number two to being a better insurance salesperson, okay? Tip number three is dipping into psychology. I learned the psychology of sales at 19 years old and I was better because of it. When I say psychology, I'm talking about the fact that when they give you an objection, they do not mean it. The psychology of sales that you should always finish with a question, right? The psychology of sales that you should ask questions and get them talking more than you do. When I talk less, I make sales. When I talk more than they do, I don't make sales, right? Get them opening up, get them talking, get them sharing, open into questions, right? They will tell you why. The psychology in that they have interest, they're sitting with you, they're looking for a reason to buy, can you help them take advantage right now, right? Or the psychology that if you pause or you lack confidence, then they will take control of the sell and the conversation and you will fail on your objective to make that sell. So when we talk about top three tips for being a better insurance salesperson, the first one has to do with your energy and interest. How energized are you and how much interest do they have in what you're talking about, right? Your energy is everything. I, I, I need to start a new video series called Energy is Everything because energy is every, emphatically everything, right? It really is. Also, the buying motives, the buying decisions. Why are they about to buy from you right now, right? That's tip number two. And the third one is dipping into the psychology of sales. Because you got, if you have the interest, you have the why and, and them connect it, right? And then you know the psychology behind sales to help people make a decision, getting a lot of yeses, right? Trial closes, engagement, getting them involved, getting them going and sitting by them and being in their bubble. All these things can be huge, helpful tips for making you a better insurance salesperson. I don't want to, I, I didn't want to go really long today. Today I wanted to go direct. Today I wanted to challenge you. And today I want to give you three tips to make you better. I was a new agent not too long ago. I started as an intern, calling out a phone book before I knew you're not even really supposed to be doing that. I feel like I get and understand new struggling insurance agents. Most people in our business are not the dude making seven figures, rolling in it and traveling the world. Yep. Most of the people in our industry are struggling. Some even have part-time jobs. I want to be the guy that they can go to, to to really learn some knowledge and really help them. I was very fortunate to earn $117,361.13 in my first eight months. And I thought, if I can do that, working for one company, selling one product, I can probably help some other people too. What is up? Welcome to Phone Phenom. If you love this, I got a video you have to watch. It's how to, life, how to sell life insurance. It's amazing and it's right there. See you there. They say life insurance is the hardest product to sell in the insurance industry. If you think so, I can make it real easy if you keep watching this video, all right? So I'm gonna teach you how to sell life insurance. My name's Cody Askins. 